Hey there, you ever wish that you could just tell ServiceNow the app you wanted to build and it would just magically build it? That day has finally arrived. Let's check it out. So last week at the ServiceNow Knowledge24 conference, they made some huge announcements. And one of my favorites was the new Now Assist for Creator app generation feature, which allows you to generate a full application just by having a conversation with the Now Assist side panel. So I've got my instance pulled up right now. You can see I'm in the Now Assist admin page here, and I have the app generation feature active and the Now Assist panel pulled up. Now I've made it just a little bit wider by adjusting some settings in my browser console for the sake of this video. So I'm gonna click create an app and I'm gonna have a conversation with the bot uh, as best I can. Because it is generative AI, the questions might be slightly different each time. So that actually makes it better for the demo because I can't just pre-record everything and put in fake prompts. So. Today I want to create an app for managing inventory in a retail retail store. So I wanna push the limits of this and kind of see where we can get. So it says it's a useful application and can we give it more details about the type of data that we wanna manage in the store. So this I do have pre-wrote. Um, it'll have a general table with various products managed by a role called inventory managers and the data can be modified only by the inventory managers and we will call the table inventory now what i'm hoping next is it'll ask me what i want in the table yep describe the fields that i want in the table so i want it to have product name SKU, category supplier uh, quantity should be an uh, integer field quantity should be an integer field Supplier should be a reference field to the company table and the product name will be the and the product display name will be set to true product name will be a string field with a max length of 240. So I'm trying to give it some very specific instructions there to see what it does. So it says it's uh, understood. I'll give it a thumbs up. I like that. Um, should there be any other tables in the application? So I'm going to take a different route for now and tell it no. Do we want to create a record producer for the inventory table? Yes, we do. What fields should be in the record producer? That's a great question. I have pre-wrote something to put in here. Let's just say that the form interface for inventory managers, it's easy to use, it allows them to interact with the data in the general inventory table to simplify the process of managing and tracking products. And let's just see what it comes up with. So here's what it's got so far. One role called inventory managers. Um, it's got one table with the specifications I added and it's got a form interface for them to interact with the table and a record producer. Um, would we like to generate the app or make changes? I'm gonna say make some changes. I'm not quite um, done adding things to the application here. So let's make changes. Um, let's tell it we wanna add another form where staff members can provide feedback on the inventory management process. So that lets it know we want another role. We probably want another record producer. And so let's see what it asks. So because it is a feedback form, um, we want that feedback to go into a new table. So what would be the data type for each field? Um, luckily I have wrote out that a uh, little bit because uh, it's a little lengthy with the requirements, but uh, basically I want them to be able to select a product from the other table, like a reference field, uh, give feedback comments, give a rating on a scale of one to five, and then all that feedback should be stored in a feedback table um, I did ask it to put it in the service catalog category, can we help you? Uh, but I've had some trouble with that. I'm not sure if it's me prompting um, or if we're not there yet. But I also ask it to put the rating question, uh, of type multiple choice, uh, make it go down, and the choices will be one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll check and see what it's got again. Uh, it's got a good overview. 
it's got my two roles, it's got my two tables with the requirements I provided. Um, it's gonna make a form for the one table and record producers for the other. Um, I'm gonna say that's good enough for now. Let's have it generate and see what happens. Great, the app looks like it's ready. It was generated by Now Assist. So let's click the link and see what we got. Great, we can see it got the name right. It says application generated by Now Assist. It has my two tables. It has two record producers and two roles. That's exactly what I asked for. So let's step through it for a second and see what we got. So first let's take a look at the inventory table that's where the manager is gonna put the inventory of items in the store. So I see my columns right off the bat. If I check out the form, that actually looks pretty good. I can see it even has the reference field uh, to company. Let's preview it in the traditional list view and just add a record. SKU one, two, three, product frosted raisin nuggets. Quantity, we bought 250 boxes, category, dry goods, and the supplier um, will be Acme Airlines. Just to be funny, but you can see it is a reference to the other table, so that's pretty cool. We'll just submit that to save it in our table, but it looks like it didn't quite set that display column, but no problem. In App Engine Studio, in Table Builder, I can just see product name, make that the display column and save it. So pretty good, that saved me quite a bit of time. Let's check out this feedback table. So we ask it for a few columns, feedback, product, rating, I can see that's a reference field. So same thing, I'm gonna preview that in list view. There's the columns I asked for. Comments, uh, tastes, great, order more. Let's see if my reference to the other table works. Uh, yep, there's my frosted raisin nuggets and the employee's gonna give that one a three. Submit that and that's pretty great. Again, um, again, one little thing, I wanted to set the uh, display column. That one might be a little challenging. Let's actually make the um, updated date the display column for now. We'll just make, our, make up our own best practice for this example. If we look, we have created those two default forms when we went to view it. Um, it went ahead and saved those. Um, so let's check out the record producers that it generated. Um, first, it was to add an inventory item, which we already did, but when you're in preview mode in uh, previewing the catalog item, it doesn't actually save the record. So we would make frosted raisin nuggets, SKU one, two, three, category dry goods, quantity 250, and maybe we make that Yep, okay. We probably should have told it to make that an integer. And who is the supplier? Again, a pretty good uh, reference to the company table. Um, what's really sweet about this is because I've already got virtual agents set up in my dev environment, it can actually let me go ahead and see what it's like to interact with the form. This is already virtual agent ready without me having to do anything, which is pretty sweet. Same for mobile, it's already mobile ready. Um, without me being any kind of uh, mobile developer. Try Raisin Nuggets. That is pretty cool. So just to check the security real quick, let's see what it created. With the inventory manager, and we only specified that that role needed to have access to the inventory table, and it looks like it does. And for the staff member role, it can only write to the feedback table. So we probably wanted it to create, read, and write, but as you can see, that's very easy to do in App Engine Studio with just a series of check boxes. Now, for those of you that are wondering, uh, I opened this in App Engine Studio, is that the only way to edit the app? No, it's not. You can go to App Properties, open it in the traditional Dev Studio, and still create anything that you would want to in the application just as you normally would. When you're finally done with the application and ready to submit to Pride, without using update sets, you only have to click Submit. That will send a request to App Engine Management Center. We'll say, um, added some new features for 
dry raisin nuggets and hit continue. That will send you an email to let you know that your app is being reviewed by the IT department and then App Engine Management Center will take over the deployment process, which I'll cover in another video. I hope you enjoyed that quick overview of Now Assist for Creators new app generation feature. Look out for future videos about playbook generation, flow generation, and even code generation. And as promised, look for the link in the video below for that App Engine Management Center demo. I'm Star Lord, the Workflow Cowboy, and I hope you have a great day. Star Lord, the Workflow Cowboy.